So this is where you can upload. This has all the different like graphics here on the side, or you can upload your own image. And you just need to play around with this. You know what I mean? Like I spent hours on PicMonkey in the beginning, like two hours it took me to make one graphic. And now it doesn't take me that long, but, um, I know what she wants, so. This is her background, okay, she wanted a feather. So, I'm gonna, this little thing right here, combine all elements. This actually takes whatever you have on the screen right now and like, marries it together and then so now you have like so now i actually can't actually click on that whereas before i could click on it and move it but i don't want to do that because once i start adding more stuff to it it gets harder to actually click on the image that you want to edit because this image is so big so i just want to marry it so now i have a, a like a clean slate so to speak okay um, I'm just going to pull up exactly what she wanted me to do because I needed to make some changes and I forgot. Okay. So I already have a couple of these images made into circles, but I'll just show you really quick how to do that. I would just open up a second window. I would go to pick monkey. I would edit one photo. So I would go to edit. I would go to my computer. I would click on this. And I would go to shape cutouts and that's how I would, of course, it's kind of in the corner, but that's how I would do that. I would make a circle and then I would save it. Save image, but I don't need that one. I just wanted to show you how I do it. So I'll take the ones that I already have. And you can do this, you don't even have to do like circles. You don't have to get that crazy. You could just upload square photos and just kind of strategically place them, put your name, um, you'll see. She wanted, instead of three photos, leave out the summit one, okay. And then I did a straight line. I'm trying to remember what it looked like before. And I made it, I think this color green.
So you can actually see how like this is in front. It's all the way brought up to the front, okay? But I want it to be brought to the back because I want like that, see? And then I'm gonna put her name up at the top. I'm going to change the font. I'm actually going to have her first. Oh, actually. It gets really fun when you start playing around with this stuff. So I want the first letter to be big and I want the rest to be smaller. Which just might be a little too big, but. And then she wanted a quote on there. And Um, so I'm probably going to actually make this a different font because it gets like, see how it's kind of like, well, I guess it's not too bad. I thought it was a little blurry. And then you can like duplicate overlays. So I wanted to duplicate that. I would click my left click on it and I would right click and I would duplicate it. And I'm gonna send it to the back. And um, just to add some kind of like dimension to it.
And you can change the colors over here. And then she wanted So I can help you guys with this too, because I really love actually doing pig monkey. <laughs> so if you want me to help you with this, I really don't mind because I think it's fun. So you just need to tell me what pictures you want and stuff like that. And I will get some pictures together because I probably do need to change my cover. Me too. It makes a whole difference. I mean, just having that presence, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. It adds more seriousness and professionalism. Professionalism. Mm -hmm. And that is it. I actually think I might make this a little standout-ish by making a duplicate. Oops. It might look better if this is brought to the front. So you have to like get right on something to have it move. There you go. Yeah, that looks good. And that's it. That's good. Yeah, it looks really good. I actually probably need to move this up a little bit. So, okay. Um.